Hey, what's up guys? You boy, it's probably 2K7 back for another Grand Theft Auto 5 mods tutorial video. Today, we're going to be going over how to install the new fire truck packs by Medic4523. So first thing you guys are going to want to do is click the link to go to Modification uh, Universe, a brand new modding website where uh, Medic4523 mods will be hosted on. So once you get to the website, you're going to want to make sure you sign up, create an account, uh, make a login because you are not able to download anything unless you are a verified member um, of Modification Universe. So make sure you guys sign up first. Next, what you're going to do, um, obviously, it just got uploaded here. So everything is kind of in the what's new section. But if you guys are watching this, like, say, a couple weeks or months from now, there may be other mods in here. So just in case you don't see the mod right here, easiest way to get to it, go to Downloads. Then on the right, under Categories, go to Feature Dev section, go to Medic4523, and now you're going to see all of the mods by Medic4523. Now, they actually are in order as well. So we're going to start right here. Um, it says Medic4523 DLC download first. So let's click on that, and we're going to go ahead and download this first. Okay, so that's now downloaded. And basically, the reason why you need to download this first, this is going to be the DLC pack that all of the models will go into. So this doesn't have the models in it, but you're going to be putting all of the models into this DLC pack, um, basically. So you install the pack, and then you drop all of the models in. But don't worry, we're going to go over everything. So let's open up the modding DLC. Uh, as long as you have like WinRAR or any program that can open up uh, RAR files, you should be able to open this up without a problem. So we have a readme here. Let's take a look at this. Um, so again, this is only the DLC, no models. And let's see. So basically, this is going to be where we want to install this too. So I already have like a shortcut here on my desktop to my Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. But basically, what this is telling you to do is to go to your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. Now, depending on where you install it, it should be in probably your C drive by default. I have mine in my D drive because I have more space. But it should be uh, C drive, then Steam games if you installed it through Steam, or Rockstar games if you like had the disk copy. Um, Steam apps, common, Grand Photo 5. And then it's telling you to go to update. So you're going to click on your update or your mods folder first. And if you guys do not have a mods folder, I have another tutorial about how to make a mods folder. Um, so check that out uh, update x64 dlc packs and then now i already have one of these in here um because i had the original wait is it in here i guess not yes it is okay so yeah i had the original medic pack in here so i'm just gonna go ahead and copy that to the side so i had damn that's a big file i had all right so you know what let's not copy that for now so let's just, these are just like the original ones I had from when he first released them, a, like, I think it was a year ago now. But what we're going to do is go back to here. Hey, you see this Medic4523? We're going to take this whole file, and we're just going to drop it into the DLC packs folder. So just drop it right to the side, and it will download there. So there it is, Medic4523. Um, let's see what the next step is. So yeah, drop that into the location. We did that. Now we're going to have to open up OpenIV. So I already have that ready. Now all of the other programs that you need, I'll link them in the video description so that you guys can download all of this stuff in case you do not already have it. So let's see what it wants us to do now. Um, go here. Okay. It's pretty basic. I'm actually already here, but I'll start it over. So once you're in your GT or OpenIV, you're going to click on GTA 5 for PC, and it should bring you here. You know, again, you'll go to your mod folder. You're going to go to your update, update.rpf, common, data, and then you're going to see, wait, where am I? Oh, yeah, we're already here. Okay, so we're going to scroll down to DLC list, which don't mind mine is not named properly right now because I normally have more than one. But yeah, you should see it like this. So you see DLC list, you're going to make sure you click on edit mode and then you're going to right click and you're gonna go to edit. You're going to scroll down 
And these are all the DLCs that you have. So depending on if you have other DLCs already, you may see stuff like this, or you just may see it end around something like this, depending on um, how updated your game is at the time. So what we're gonna do is create a new line. So to do that, I'm just gonna go here, press enter. We now have a new line. And then uh, we're gonna pretty much copy this line right here. Oops. So you copy, control C or right click copy, put it right here, paste or right click paste. And as you can see, it basically looks like everything else. So DLC, medic four, five, two, three, boom. So this basically adds this into the game. So now when you start the game, the game knows to look for this medic four, five, two, three folder. So that should be it for this first step, uh, save and close. We did that and it is now install. So it's very simple. So now let's go ahead and install the first fire truck. So we're gonna exit this out. So let's see, which one should we install? I guess we'll just go, we'll go in order. So let's start with this. All right, so this is to install the teller and track the, track the draw and aerial, just a trailer only. So we're gonna go ahead and download this. You know what, let's just download everything while we're here. So common textures, this is just to make um, probably the lights, yeah, just to change the color of the lights. So we're not gonna worry about that yet. Uh, let's download the Chevy Silverado. We'll download the Pierce Arrow and the E450. I'm gonna actually start off with the Pierce Arrow pack. So let's download that. We already got the Teller downloading. We don't need this for now. We'll download the Chevy Silverado and the E450. Now, if you guys are watching this, like say a couple of weeks or months out from now, there may be more mods released by Medic. So you could just do the same thing. Uh, the same thing applies to continue the installation. Just do the first part, which was install the DLC and then install whichever uh, mods you want. So we're just gonna install everything here. So let's do the tiller since I already started. Open up the README again, makes everything easy. Drag and drop these into the DLC. No meta is included or needed. Awesome, okay. So what we are going to do is go to Okay, so this is only the trailer. So what we're going to do is go to mods, update x64, DLC packs. We're gonna to go to medic four, five, two, three. DLC, x64, levels, GTA five. I'm sorry, I'm going kind of fast. So you could kind of just watch it back um, vehicles. And there's nothing in here yet because again, the original DLC was, it says it was gonna be empty. So I'm gonna try the turn version. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this in. Teller trailer. We're gonna click on it, take a look at it. Looks like it's in and we are good. So I'm gonna try the turn version first. Um, now for, we're gonna have to also install this as well. This is called vehicle gadgets. So, I think there's a direct link for it here as well. I forgot to mention it earlier. Here we go. So you wanna also click this vehicle gadgets link. And we're gonna go ahead and download the current version. Okay, yeah, I had, actually have never had to do it this way before. So that's why I had to take a look. So click current build. We, we did that already. Uh, click configuration release. Okay and click the artifacts tab. Okay, and then we just go ahead and download this. Okay, so that is the newest version. So we're gonna open up this. And we're gonna go back to our GTA 5 folder. So we're gonna go to Granite Photo 5. And now we're gonna have to create a folder called Vehicle Gadgets. What you're gonna wanna do is go into your plugins folder 
which you should already have if you have Ragehook. If you don't have a plugin folder, you're going to want to have to download Ragehook plugin. So if you don't have a plugins, make sure you go here and download the latest version of Ragehook. And I have a tutorial about how to do that as well. It's pretty simple. So back to here, we're going to go Grand Auto 5, we're going to plugins, and then we're going to drop these files in. Now, I believe I already have the older version in. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to copy the older version out, and then I'm just going to delete it. And now we can add in the newer version. Okay, so we'll drop all of those in. And we should be good to go now. So back to this. So for VG plus, we just have to put this. See, I gotta see if it's um. I just wanna make sure I'm telling you guys everything right here. Yeah, here it is. So we gotta create that folder. So remember that new folder we just created? We're gonna rename that folder, Vehicle Gadgets Plus. Open that up. Okay, so we're going back to our original Tiller trailer, VG. And we're just gonna place that into the Vehicle Gadgets folder. Okay, so that's now installed. Um, we also need to add the ELS. So if you guys do not have ELS in, I'll link how to install that as well. But from here, you have Grand Auto 5. You should have an ELS folder. If you don't, I'll link the um, download for ELS so you guys can add that in. And then you should go into your pack uh, DLC. So what I'm going to do, I have like multiple of these. You really only need one, but I have multiple just because I run so many different copies of the game. So what I'm going to do is change this one. This is actually one of, I'm just going to put this for now. And I'm going to change my default fire. So again, you don't really have to do any of this stuff. I just have so much going on here. That's why I have this. But you should only have one by default. So you should have a fold in here that says pack default. And then what we're going to do is drop. Sorry, I'm like all over the place in here. Okay, exit this out. So we're going to drop the ELS files, tiller trailer into here. And I'll just overwrite the old one. Okay, so we install the files, we install the ELS XML, we install the vehicle gadgets. That's what basically lets you put up the ladders and the outriggers. So we are now done with the tiller trailer. So next, whoops, went all over the place. Next, we're gonna do the Pierce Arrow Pack. So let's take a look at the README here. So this Pierce Aero Pack comes with three engines, one heavy rescue, tower ladder, stick ladder, tender, two tiller tractors, um, engine 2A is a reflective livery. Oh, that's pretty cool. We got to check that out. We'll be checking all of these out as well. Drag and drop these files into the Medic DLC, and that's about it. So nice and easy. So again, we already have the Medic DLC open. Again, GTA 5 mods update, X64, DLC packs, Medic 4523, DLC, X64 levels, GTA 5 vehicles, and that brings you uh, right here. So let's start adding in everything else. So first we have the ELS files. So for ELS, we are going to go back to our folder here. So Grand Auto Photo 5 ELS pack default. We're just going to grab these files and drop them in here. So that's now done. Now we have the flat top. Oh, wait. Those are the skins, actually. These are the templates. So we're going to grab all of these files. So engine 2, engine 2A, engine 2B. We're going to grab all of these and drop them. Drag and drop. And now they're all into the game. So you guys kind of see them. And we're going to go back. We're going to go to the ladder now and do the same thing. So let's grab the ladder. We have ladder two and we have tower la tower two. So let's drop all of those in. There we go. And let's make sure we add those ELS files too. So the lights work. So we're going to go 
and drop these into the ELS pack default. And then we're going to do the vehicle gadgets. And we're going to drop the vehicle gadgets into, oops, I lost that folder, into the vehicle gadgets. Boom. Perfect. And on both ladder, ladder two, extra 11 will toggle on and off the pump and rear component doors. Use a trainer to toggle. Okay. So we got to keep that in mind. Extra 11 for the ladders. And also, like, if you use, like, your numpads, like, eight, all of the numpads, those are to help you uh, move around the ladder as well. I'll show you guys that once we get in-game. So now we're up to the rescue. Rescue 2A. Go ahead and drop that in. Same thing. Take the VG files, put into vehicle gadgets. Take the ELS files, put into ELS and pack default. Okay, so that's done. Tender is up next. Tender 2. I'll drop that in. And again, the ELS files. Tender 2 drops in. And the VG files. What I could do is just open up both of these so we don't have to switch back and forth. And I think we will do that. So let's move this over here. And let's open up another folder with the ELS. That way we don't have to go back and forth so much. All right. So that's everything with the tender. Extra 11 will toggle on and off the porter tank. Okay. Uh, next is the tiller. So I'm going to grab all of these, drop them into open IV. Uh, grab the ELS files, drop those all into the ELS folder. Pack default and VG plus drop those into vehicle gadgets. Alrighty, so it looks like we're done. We have the templates. These are just if you want to make your own skins. This is how you do that. Um, all right, so we're done with the Pierce Arrow pack. We go ahead and exit that out. So next pack we had was the Silverado Command. Okay, so same thing, ELS is going to be 8A, 8B, drop those into our ELS pack default, and then, actually these don't have any vehicle gadgets, so we don't have to worry about that, it's just the models, drop those in, I cannot wait to look at all of these, these are going to be nice. So hopefully everything is making sense uh, by now. It's pretty much the same thing to do. I'm going to keep doing it in case you guys need help, but everything should be making sense. And if you guys are, if the tutorial is helpful, you guys enjoy the video, please go ahead and hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe for more mod videos as well as tutorials. Okay, so we're done with the Silverado. That was nice and easy. Uh, next we have the E450 Ambulance. This is the last... Uh, available vehicle at the time I'm recording this, which is September 16th, as you, as you guys can see down there. So ELS, take those and put them in to our ELS pack default. All right, those are in. Models. We have so many units to choose from. This is going to be crazy. All right, so everything looks good, guys. So we could go ahead and have extra skins, too. We're going to have to check out all this stuff. Um, all right, so that's pretty much it. We downloaded everything. So we have the E450, the Pierce Arrow, Silverado, and the Tiller. All right, so everything's pretty much done at this point. So that is how you install... Um, medics pack now depending on if you guys are is like a first dlc pack you're installing when you go to start the game if it crashes on the fault that means you need a game config file so i'm going to link you to gta 5 so you can download this just in case you don't have it depending on what version of the game you're on you're going to need to download the appropriate one 
So um, if you're on the latest version, the latest version is, is 17.37 at the time I'm uh, recording this video. The way that you know, if you just go to your GTA 5 folder and you go to these GTA 5 files here, see it says file version 1.0.1604.1, that 1604 is the version of the game that I'm currently on. And basically, you got to get a matching game config. So I would need one for 1604. Um, sometimes they do have like more than one too. So let me show you. Oh, this one's not updated. See, this one doesn't tell you, but like, see, this is the latest, but you could look and see which one of these would be your correct version. But if you just download a Grand Theft Auto 5, you should be on the latest one anyway, so you shouldn't have that problem. I just haven't updated my game. I actually need to. But um, let me see if I can find the exact version just so I can show you guys how this works. I cannot spell. Okay, yeah, so here it is an example of the one that I have 1604. So I'm not going to install it because I already have a working one, but I just want to show you guys how to install it in case you need to. So you're going to get a file that says game config. And again, this is if you start your game and it's crashing as soon as it tries to start, you need a game config. So you're going to go GTA 5, you're going to go mods, update, update common data. Sorry, I went kind of fast, but yeah, update update RPF comment and data. You're going to look for this game config file. It should say compressed slash encrypted. That's your original. I always like to back up everything. So just go ahead and like copy this to your desktop or something just so you have a backup. And then you take this one and drop it in here, but make sure you have edit mode on. So you drop that in there and it will install and then you should be able to play. If you still have like crash on desktop issues, another thing you could do if we go back to this game config, sometimes these help as well. Um, the limit adjusters and the heap adjuster. But try it first, see if your game runs. Um, but you most likely will definitely need a game config if this is your first time modding. So now that we have everything ready to go, we could go ahead and start closing up all of this stuff. And we're going to go to Rage Hook. Again, if you don't already have Rage Hook, you could download it. And Ragehook also has to be on the correct version as well. So like if you go home here, you see the current version is 17.3.7. So you also have to have the same one. I'm on, I don't even know which one I was on. I was on an old version here. I didn't even see the one I was on, but yeah, you just want to make sure that everything matches. So like if this says 1737, you want to make sure that the GTA 5 that you have is 0.737. So anyway, like I said, let's go ahead and start up the uh, game, make sure everything works. So we're going to double click on Rage Hook. Now you may get this um, saying that we have a new plugin called Vehicle Gadgets. Do you want to unblock? Yes. And we're going to let the game start up now.